Hello, love. Welcome home to Eden. This Eden that is your home, this earth. You know, we have six years to change this whole story. They say 12 years before the whole story's over for us humans on earth. And that can be an overwhelming thought unless you think about action. And the fact that all the solutions exist now and are in our own hands. So here's some ideas of what to do in the next six years to totally change this story so that we are protecting Eden for our generations to come. All right, <laughs> you're gonna go solar, darling, okay? Look, all it takes is some uh, letting a, a pro like me come over to your house and you need a, a 650 credit score and to own your own home and get some sun on your roof. That's it. I'm so surprised when I go to help people get their solar panels. They're always like, this is too good to be true. This is so great, but I'm busy, so I'll get to it in a couple weeks. You know, the change that we need to make for the planet is changing the part of ourselves that's complacent and lazy and entitled as if the human story is the only story or as if the human story doesn't matter for the future, we need to start taking action, okay? So when you take action, you basically go one thing at a time, but instead of putting it on hold for next year or my next lifetime, you just take action now, okay? So what else can you do? There's so much we can do. We can plant trees. You can commit to planting one to a thousand trees in the next year. We need to do within the next six years something like, I don't know, was it three trillion trees? That's not so much if you think of all the humans on the planet. We just start planting trees. In India, Sadhguru has been helping people create a whole movement around tree planting. And uh, now, you know what else you can do? You can paint your rooftop white. This was an idea that Obama came up with, and he was really right about this, that uh, when a, a rooftop is white, it changes the carbon emissions uh, store, well, the, <laughs> the climate emissions, ah, <laughs> the story. <laughs> okay, what else can you do? Well, sisters, you can unite. You know, Tree Sisters started from a woman's vision where a voice spoke to her and said, the women are the untapped resource of the planet. We keep giving away our power in order to be more feminine, in order to feel that our, our husbands will love us, we want him to make the decisions. But hey honey, when I go around doing solar, I'm just so alarmed that the women mainly want solar and they, they are totally capable of doing it because nowadays you don't need any money out of pocket at all. I mean zero money, like not even $25 you can get solar. But they're giving their power to the men and the men will say, I'm not in the mood or I don't believe it's too good to be true or um, I want the best deal, whatever. You know, instead of getting on the wavelength, like we just need to save the planet. We need to save uh, humans from climate disaster. So it's really not about the best deal. Like the men are always thinking about what's in it for me. You just think about it as joining the evolution, the... the uh, the energy revolution of solar, which is so simple and it's so, and don't go for all these fancy, newer and more expensive panels because they're not tested. Just do this, the, the regular old ones that just sit there passively giving you energy for years upon years, okay? You know, the Tesla ones are doing, they're catching fire and the ones that's turned to be so efficient, they, they get frozen in the wrong direction. Just get the freaking huge, ugly, clunky panels <laughs> and let them bring you peace of heart because when you speak of planting trees, <laughs> you save 144 acres, just a small system, 100, 144 acres of trees when you go solar. That's a lot of tree planting. Okay, and this thing about bonding together as women. Oh, what fun, okay? Like, what else can we do? We can start speaking out. We can start voting more. We can start standing in the road with signs. We can 
uh, we can change the story of the priorities of politicians and big business by stopping to buy products <laughs> of companies that are um, blocking the way of our love for this planet, love for this planet, love for each other, love for our children. So, you know, just wake up. The main thing to do to wake up is to emotionally connect with the situation of the potential disaster of starvation, uh, heat waves, floods, f fires, it's all happening already. So, and if you're thinking, well, it didn't happen to me, so that's those people, they're having fires in California, that's those poor, you know, oh yeah, well, what about our <laughs> storms over here in Massachusetts, you know? We're alive still by grace. Grace, pure grace. So, <laughs> if we're allowed to be here still as humans, we've got to start behaving <laughs> like we should be here. Otherwise, wouldn't it be a nice thing if, if the gods, whoever they are, just wipe us off the face of the earth so that we stop destroying this beautiful planet? No, we don't want to give up the beautiful story of humankind. And I think we do that when we're feeling depressed. We're like, eh, we should all just die anyway. I don't see the point of being human anyway. <laughs> but think of the music we make, the love we make, the, the intricacy of our capacity to feel and relate and have consciousness about ourselves. You know, these, this is a miracle to be human and to allow that privilege for future generations it simply means emotionally connecting because when you really get emotional about the fact that this could all be over in our lifetimes and we did nothing, we didn't even speak to anybody about it, we didn't speak out, we didn't admit that we need to do uh, <laughs> join Extinction Rebellion, which is a very radical group of, of people that are saying, no, politicians are lying, this business is lying, that the amount that they're doing is, is enough, it's not enough. It, it, the change has to be radical and sweeping, just like, like Hillary Clinton, B Bernie Sanders, uh, um, these wonderful leaders have spoken out, you know, with a lot of courage to say, it's got to be radical, radical. So if you're going to be radical, a little bit radical, how about a little bit radical? <laughs> you need to make some room in your schedule that's not all about just your convenience and when you feel like getting to going solar eventually take it out of the range of this isn't convenient and just there should be a law this is what my daughter said she said there should be a law that everybody has to plant a thousand trees everybody has to paint their roof white everybody has to go solar everybody's got to start um, giving up plastic it's a law because that's what will allow the humans to keep existing those are some of the things. <laughs> Thank you, darling, for being with me here. Thank you for thinking up your own ideas. Thank you for getting out there in the middle of the road <laughs> and, and making, holding signs. <laughs> Thank you for going solar and connecting with me. Uh, if you can, if you own your own home, you just need a 650 credit score and we will save 100, 144 acres of trees, carbon emissions from 162 tons uh, of carbon emissions um, just from your house going solar for 25 years, driving a car 450,000 miles. See, look, that's handed to you on a silver platter. That should be the beginning. That should be the first thing that you do, okay? <laughs> Quit dragging your feet about shit like that. And what about, <laughs> what about, what about, Post your ideas below this video, okay? Give each other ideas because I just know, I know if humans could create all the beauty and, and, and cathedrals and, and art and paintings and um, spiritual, sp spiritual paths and um, sacred love that they have, there's every reason to believe that we can create a very swift path to conscious living where we go vegan that's the other big thing go vegan at least stop eating red uh, beef unless it's from a farm nearby you don't support what is destroying the rainforest think about this brazil gives us 
all of this, uh, the, the air, you know, gives us the, the, the amount of trees they have is what the rest of the world depends on for their air. So the rest of the world really should be paying Brazil not to uh, develop their forests, not to cut them down for beef. Because otherwise it's not fair. That country can't, you know, sell off its land for beef and make money and all of because no one else gives a shit. Well, we should be paying them. There should be a tax that goes to Brazil not to, de to be de developing. Okay? <laughs> think creatively. Okay? Think globally. Think, think in terms of risk-taking that makes you seem crazy. <laughs> All right? Because it's, it's crazy not to do anything. What's crazy is the way that we have not been talking openly and that we're all so scared of the topic that we hold back from our, our terror and also we get paralyzed because we think, oh, it's not doable. It is doable. It is doable. It's totally doable. And you know what? It's going to be so fun. It's going to be fun because anytime you think of the world mobilizing together on one mind, instead of mobilizing around fighting each other with more and more weapons to kill each other. <laughs> That's the only common goal is how many guns we could create. The world mobilizing as one human community to protect the earth. That's beautiful. This is the evolution of consciousness and what it means is calling in your feminine awareness, the value for the deep feminine, the, da the value for the heart, the value for the earth, the value for the body, the value that's more sensitive and, and um, holistically seeing the whole picture and all of the world families as one. Much love to you, darling. Get on it. Let's get on it together. I'm with you. Totally with you. Post your ideas below. Okay, love? Love life.